I think a lot of companies are seeing that they have a responsibility, not only to their employees, but to help their employees reflect and be part of the community. Companies like Adobe, Allstate, Google, Spotify, Target, it's a big wide range of companies of all different types across industries, retail, industrial, technology, they're all in this. And they're asking employees not just to take the day off, but to reflect a little bit on on social injustice. Other companies are taking a little bit more of a hands-off approach, but still honoring the day. The automotive manufacturers aren't making this a holiday, but they're all taking time out of their day at different shifts to have a moment of reflection. General Motors, both in their um, in the morning shifts and the evening shifts, are taking eight minutes and 46 seconds uh, for employees on the line to think about uh, what's been happening uh, in uh, because of the uh, George Floyd protests. A lot of brands have been sold in the past on, on some kind of racist grounds. And, it, and it's shocking to know how many everyday store brands uh, that have images rooted in slavery or in the Old South um, that in their heyday um, were part of the selling process. And now these brands have to really decide how do they want to go and, and be going forward. So for example, uh, Aunt Jemima, uh, a brand that is now 130 years old, founded in 1889, uh, is, is owned by Quaker Oats, which is the division of PepsiCo. And they looked at 2016 to actually get rid of the name and the image. Uh, during the same year, unfortunately, uh, the Pepsi brand had a, had a big problem with a commercial uh, supporting Black Lives Matter that featured Kendall Jenner um, giving a Pepsi to a law enforcement officer, extraordinarily tone deaf. Pepsi kind of backed off and didn't make the change in 2016 because it would have raised more negative awareness. So this week on, on Monday, um, singer Kirby um, posted a video on TikTok called um, How to Make a uh, Non-Racist Breakfast. And she really highlighted some of the uh, issues around Aunt Jemima and the heritage around Aunt Jemima. And by Wednesday, PepsiCo or Quaker Oats said, look, we're gonna get rid of the brand. We're gonna change the name. We're gonna change the packaging by the end of the year. This also impacts a whole host of other brands. Cream of Wheat, which features a African-American chef that is owned by BG Foods. They've come out to say they're gonna do a full review. Another brand is, uh, M &M, is an M&M Mars company owned brand, Uncle Ben's Rice. Uncle Ben was founded over 70 years ago. It features an African-American um, on its packaging. Brands are all about imagery and associations. And if those images and associations turn negative, consumer attitudes turn negative. Because brands are all about creating an attitude toward a brand. And, and, and if people don't have a positive attitude to you, you're gonna lose sales, you're gonna lose market share. And, and these brands have to be intelligent to say, how are we going to live in the moment? How are we going to be contextually relevant? And what do we need to change to really reinforce a positive image and a positive set of attributes?